Point of order, Mr. Martin Doherty Hughes. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, um, Jagtar Singh Johal, my constituent, has now been entering his will be entering this year his seventh year in arbitrary detention in India. In that time, Madam Deputy Speaker, both he, his family, and I have lost count of the number of foreign secretaries uh, who run the department. And with that, I must say, in recent weeks, I have never seen such a utter disregard for most likely the most important consular case on the Foreign Secretary's desk. Yesterday at the Foreign Affairs Committee, in response to my honourable friend, the member for Argyll and Butte, who I have informed I would be mentioning, the Foreign Secretary seemed to intimate a willingness to meet me and my constituents, who the family of Jagtar Singh Johal. It is clear from me, Madam Deputy Speaker, that the Foreign Secretary in that response may not have been aware of my letter dated the 14th of November 2023, which sought to have a meeting. I have to date had no formal response, though unsurprisingly, Madam Deputy Speaker, before Prime Minister's questions, I and the family held a holding response from the Department, which stated replies uh, requesting a meeting with the Foreign Secretary are being processed. I have no doubt, Madam Deputy Speaker, that after two months, I will eventually maybe get a formal response from the Foreign Secretary. And I'm sure, given the nature of the case which you have heard me raise on many occasions, in which there may be a death penalty charge, you will understand that speed is of the essence. Therefore, I'm looking for clarity on the following issues, Madam Deputy Speaker. Is it normal for a senior minister of state to take so long to correspond with a member of parliament when time is critical? Do the conventions of this House extend to ministers in the other chamber? In addition, given that the Defence Secretary stated yesterday relationships between the United Kingdom and India are not transactional, Instead, both countries are natural partners with many commonalities and shared goals. What confidence, Madam Deputy Speaker, can I and other members of Parliament that the Government will represent our constituents held in India in equal measure to others? And finally, given that the Foreign Secretary seems now to have intimated that it is no longer their intention to attend the Foreign Affairs Committee every six weeks, as stated to the House, Will Mr Speaker, no less, now demand that the Foreign Secretary themselves be brought to the floor of the House to answer questions from the members of the House of Commons? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.